Hello, everyone, and welcome to beautiful Del Mar, California. We are here at the 2005 San Diego Surf Cup, and this is the boys' under-15 Surf Cup game here at, uh, at the Surf Cup here in beautiful Del Mar. We've got a, one heck of a game for you this afternoon. The NFC Catanaccio going up against Emerald City Football Club. Both teams very aggressive, very skilled athletic teams. These guys and these boys here are just some of the best athletes you can see in this age group right now. Going through the rosters here for the NFC Catanaccio. Wearing zero is James Unger. Matt Hudson wearing one. Nick Schmidt, two. Jacob Miller, three. Shane Keen, five. Wearing six is Zach Harris. Number seven, Mark David. Number eight, Patrick Brennan. Alec Lerner wearing nine. Phil Hamilton wearing ten. Number 12, Joshua Schneider. Number 13, Matt Cyphers. 14 is Isaac Inungare. 15, John Connor. 16, Luke Zabawa. Number 17, Zachary Baca. Number 19, Austin Anderson. And 20, Cesar Guerrero. For the Emerald City Football Club, wearing three, Alex Masaki. Number four, Jonathan Cho. Reed Jones wearing five, Eric Berg is wearing seven, Michael Puccini wearing eight. Matthew Foley wearing nine, number 10, Jesus Cervantes. Jacob Schmidt wearing 11, Carter Rummage wearing 13, Nicholas Hall 14, Nathan Sacafeo 15, number 16, William Burgett, as we got some action on the field here and already both teams putting some serious pressure on each other. And wearing 19 is Nicholas Sue, and the two keepers today, Tyler Davidson and Leo Cohen, it's for Emerald City. So Catanaccio today wearing the blue shirts and the white shorts, while Emerald City wearing the, the uh, white tops and uh, dark blue shorts. And right away, Emerald City putting some big time pressure on this Catanaccio team. Good touch pass over to the middle. Step up, step up. And a big shot on goal just off the top crossbar. Leo. I think the keeper actually thought that ball was going way over, and there was a little dive Leo. in the ball, a little dip at the last minute, which hit that crossbar. Hey, Pete, Pete, have some sense of urgency when you're marking there. Get back inside. Come on, ask you to get out here. So a big goal kick from Catanaccio, and once again, Emerald City, looks like that's Puccini with a little touch pass out, and Peter Fong working hard in the corner over there, but Catanaccio wins that ball, and a nice clear out to about midfield. Catanaccio doing a nice job field, fielding that ball, that was excellent. You can see the way that they actually use their body to shield the ball. So it is a warm morning already. The marine layer here in Southern California has begun to burn off. We'll see if this heat affects either team this afternoon. So Emerald City now putting some pressure on Catanaccio. Sacafeo with a crossover to the middle. Jonathan Cho looking for a teammate. Ball was intercepted by Catanaccio. Come on, Nathan. 
That's it, Nathan. What a tackle. Sacrifio getting a little physical over there, using his upper body and his height to his advantage. Hey, if he can get away with it, I say why not and go for it. Catanaccio with a good crossover to the middle. The keeper comes out, dives on the ball, and makes the save. And a big kick way past midfield. So here comes Emerald City down the far side of the field. And a big collision over there. And everybody seems to be okay. So a big shot over the keeper's head off the crossbar. Oh, man. That keeper got caught way out of position. He was coming way out. And a little chip shot, extremely smart by Emerald City. Come on, Nicole. Join him. So Burgett over on the far side, trying to make his way through two Catanaccio players, unable to do so. So Catanaccio takes over around midfield. <laughs> that young man got tackled by <laughs> about three players. So there's definitely a whistle on that play. This will bring on a free kick. So the tides have turned. Now Catanaccio has a chance here for a, poten for a potential score. The referee is giving some directions there to the Emerald City players to move back. And they do so accordingly. So here comes a free kick. About 30 yards. Big shot just over the top crossbar. Hey, you don't need to jump. So Zachary Baca took the shot and was just a few inches too high. You gotta play stronger on the ball. You wouldn't lose it, and we're under pressure. So goal kick for Emerald City. So Emerald City with a throw in on the far side of the field, trying to get something going over here in the first half of the 0-0 game here at the 2005 Surf Cup. And a big crossover to the middle, looking for some help. No one there but some Catanaccio boys. So a decent clear out, but the Emerald City defensive line moved way up, way past midfield to knock that ball out of play. Not a bad choice right there. Looked like Catanaccio was gaining some momentum, almost uh, on its way up the field for a breakaway. So a wise play to kick that ball out of bounds. So a good throw into about midfield. But Emerald City once again takes over. Here comes Catanaccio now. The good steal, looking for a give and go. He's got his man. Emerald City with a big clear out. That was clutch. Looked like Peter Fong was the man there who seemed to save the day. And another big collision. And once again, a whistle is blown. So a big crossover. Nobody there but about four Emerald City defenders. 
Shane Keene actually had a very nice crossover. There's no help. No help was there. It seems like everybody's playing defense on the Catanaccio side right now. So it looks like there'll be a substitution, and Reed Jones, wearing number five, will enter the game. He's coming in to bring in some fresh legs into this ball game. We are not quite halfway through the first half. Here at this 2005 Surf Cup, I'm Scott Hall for George Langevin Video Productions. We are coming to you from beautiful Southern California. Once again, Emerald City using some fancy footwork there to try and make his way through about three Catanaccio defenders, unable to do so. So Catanaccio takes over on a good clear out. Looks like that's Masaki over there using his body to shield the ball, waiting for some help. He has it. So now a good clear out. Here comes Emerald City. It's like a pretty even matchup there. As Reed Jones, a new player, just got subbed in. Gets tripped up just outside the 18. This will be a free kick for him and an excellent opportunity for a goal. So it will be Sakafayo with the free kick. Some of those Catanaccio players look awfully close. I'm surprised the referee has not backed them up yet. In fact, it looks like he's coming over right now to rectify the situation. <laughs> and there he goes. He backs them up. So Sacafeo with the kick. And there it is, just over the top crossbar. So Sakafayo just missing his target. And this will bring about a free kick for Catanaccio. And once again, here comes Emerald City. What an excellent defensive line by Catanaccio. Seems to be saving the day for him. Their whole defensive line is just doing an excellent job back there. So a free kick for Catanaccio, taking advantage of a quick situation and a lack of Emerald City defenders. So here they come, a crossover to the middle. And it looks like Fong with a big clear out. The keeper comes way out of out of his box to make the play. Reed, Reed, you're playing as a third one up here, Reed. Emerald City once again making a push here just outside the 18-yard line. Looks as though Catanaccio are making a, they make a really good transition from 18 to 18, but they just can't quite capitalize on the opportunities. It's like every time they get past midfield and they want to make a, a nice clear out or a touch pass from corner to middle, it just doesn't seem like they can pass it correctly to one of their players. So Emerald City with a throw in. Right here on the near side of the field, that's Fong with the throw in. Sacrifice touches that ball as he taps it, it rolls out of bounds. So, Catanaccio will take over with a throw in. Schneider hands the ball off to a team. It looks like Schneider will be exiting the game with a substitution, as is my Mark David.
So entering the game for Catnaccio is Luke Zabawa and Cesar Guerrero. So Catnaccio with a good little chip shot over a few defenders. Very strategic play, but Emerald City steals the ball. A little back and forth action right here around midfield. Nice job keeping that ball in play. And here comes Emerald City looking for a touch pass, give and go over to Burgett. Burgett not quite quick enough to get to the ball, so Catnaccio takes over. Here they come down the sideline. Luke Zabawa. Zabawa with a cross, looking for a teammate. Finds nothing but the brick wall of Emerald City defense. Zachary Baca on the far side of the field. He finds John Connor. And Guerrero looking for the touch pass down the sideline, and it gets tapped out of play. So a goal kick for Emerald City. Trying for a strategic kick, and uh, it was intercepted. Once again, Zabawa looking for a teammate. Two Emerald City players break through that line. And here comes Emerald City once again. It's Jacob Schmidt. Ball comes back to Schmidt. Looking for the give and go. He gets around the Catanaccio defender. Just couldn't quite get that ball back. Here comes Reed Jones over the middle looking for a touch pass. He has his man, Cervantes, with a shot on goal. And down to his knees is the keeper. So Schmidt sacrificing his body for the good of the team there. And a big knee to the stomach by Jacob Schmidt. So a whistle on the play, and Schmidt walks back. So a free kick for Cadenaccio. Come on, Nick, out! Push out! Out, Nick! It's like Reed Jones over there looking for some help. His teammates were just kind of lagging back. They had an opportunity for a three-on-three -three or four-on-four -four situation, but uh, not enough players ran upfield, so they had to wait and uh, take their time. So here comes Schmidt, just outside the 18 for a big shot, just wide. So Jacob Schmidt all over the field right now. His cat like quickness. Taking big shots from just outside the 18. That was actually a very good shot. Just a few feet off, off line. So Emerald City with a throw in here on the near side of the field. Move, man. Peter Fong with the throw in. Trying to find a blue jersey, a little touch pass back and forth. Nothing but white jerseys in the way. So Zabawa looking for some help. Like Guerrero fell down to his knees for a moment, takes over. Beautiful little behind the back touch pass. Stolen away by Emerald City, back to Catanaccio. And once again, here comes Luke Zabawa. 
Patrick Brennan swarmed by three of the Emerald City players. Once again, Brennan down the sideline trying to make his way past Sacafayo. Sacafayo using his, his height to his advantage and a big kick to the keeper as he comes out easily and makes the play. Nice kick, Leo. And a beautiful kick well past midfield. With kicks like that, you can really change the momentum of the game. Looking for a little give and go there, but a little too hard on that pass, so the ball rolls out of bounds. That'll bring on a goal kick for Catnaccio. So some substitutions for Catnaccio. It's like John Connor exits the game. And the new player in the game will be Alec Lerner, wearing number nine. So Brennan with a sliding touch pass does so very effectively. Here comes Catnaccio down the sideline. The ball rolls out of bounds, so Emerald City takes over on the far side of the field with a throw in. It's like there'll be Jonathan Cho with a throw in. Come on, Nick. And a big outlet down the sideline. It's a race to the ball as the ball rolls out of bounds. Both teams playing the sidelines very well. A lot of out of bounds uh, in the first half here. A 0 0 ball game here at the 2005 Surf Cup. I'm Scott Hall for George Langevin Video Productions. We've got an excellent game this afternoon. A couple of uh, free kicks just outside the 18, barely missing. About three or four balls already off the crossbars. So a couple of exciting plays so far in the first half of this 2005 San Diego Surf Cup. Emerald City making their way just past midfield. Here comes a shot just over the crossbar. Looked like that was Reed Jones making his way through about three or four Catnaccio players. He seems to like that shot about five yards outside the 18. He's taken about two or three of them already. We could probably expect him to take quite a few more from that range. So a goal kick, and Emerald City just racing after the ball. And a big looping shot just over the crossbar. The keeper watches it go over. No effort on the play as he figured out what they were trying to do awfully quick. This will bring on another goal kick for Catnaccio. Just seemed like on that last goal kick, Catnaccio players were just standing around waiting for the ball come to them. And the Emerald City players just said, forget that, man. We're going after the ball. And they did. So this time, Catnaccio a little more aggressive and retaining possession with a nice little outlet pass. Here comes Zabawa. Beautiful touch pass down the sideline. Has Cyphers. Cyphers just outside the 18, looking for a big shot. Looks like he just got under it and mishit it. So right away, Emerald City taking advantage of some numbers here. It's about uh, four on four. Little touch pass out to the outside. Here comes Reed Jones. So a crossover for Emerald City, a head ball just outside the six. Once again, Emerald City with possession inside the 18. 
A good clear out, nice safety play by Catanaccio. Catanaccio's defense doing a wonderful job today protecting their keeper and keeping the ball outside the 18. So a few substitutions here. Emerald City, it looks like uh, number 16, William Burgett in the game. Pretty big goal kick, but Emerald City, once again, the aggressor on the ball. Here comes Schmidt looking for his teammate. The ball gets stolen away by that defensive line of Catanaccio. Here comes Zabawa. It's a race down the line. Zabawa with a nice touch pass. Brennan racing after the ball now. Brennan to the ball. Two Emerald City defenders steals it. And a nice outlet. And Burgett with a touch pass back over to Berg. Berg has Schmidt on the left and Burgett on the right. He chooses Burgett and the ball gets tapped into Catanaccio's hands. Here comes Zabawa. And Zabawa, the big cross to the field. You notice these players are actually playing very tight. They don't spread out uh, throughout the field very well. You see Zabawa for Catanaccio doing a nice job on the near side of the field. You see a lot of swarming so far in the first half. I'm sure that will be something the coaches will be discussing during halftime. We'll see how the rest of this first half plays out. Still a 0-0 game here at the 2005 Surf Cup. So Catanaccio with some fancy footwork over there, like that was John Connor on the far side. He could only go so far, though, and only go so, through so many people before he got the ball stolen. It's again Connor working his way through a couple of Emerald City players. But now Reed Jones takes over, looking for a crossover. He has it. The ball hits the side of the goal post and uh, falls to the ground. So a few substitutions for Catanaccio. It looks like number 12, Joshua Schneider, is entering the game. And a big goal kick by Catanaccio. And Berg, wearing number 7 for Emerald City, trying to make his way through a few of the Catanaccio players. Emerald City down the sideline. So once again, a goal kick for Catanaccio. Carter Rummage for Emerald City, the big clear out. And Nicholas Hall over to Schmidt. Schmidt to Reed. Reed working his way in the middle with a nice little touch pass back. He has a couple of options. Choose Berg, Berg to Reed. Reed back to Berg. Very nice give and go. Excellent teammanship right here. So Carter Rummage comes across the field actually. Rummage really saves a day as it looked like Peter Fong, uh, rather uh, Joshua Schneider from Catanaccio is on his way to 
work his way down the line. But now it's Reed in the corner. Reed trying to shield the ball as it rolls out of bounds. So bring on a corner kick. And Eric Berg will be taking the corner kick. As the player strategically set up inside the 18. So they, they decide otherwise. They decide to bring Berg in and give the corner kick to Jonathan Cho. This will be the first corner kick for Emerald City. And a nice one at that as it just rolls into the out of bounds. And that's the end of the first half, folks. It's a 0 0 game. Beautifully done on both sides. A, a beautifully de done defensive game so far. As a 0 0 game, it is. And we'll come right back at you for the second half here at the 2005 Surf Cup. Stay with us. So welcome back, folks, to some action here at the 2005 Surf Cup. Emerald City wearing the blue shirts and white trunks, and Catnaccio wearing the white shirts and dark blue trunks. They have a 0-0 game going into the second half here. A very exciting game, though. Right away, Catnaccio with a crossover. Catnaccio with a big shot just inside midfield as it rolls to the keeper. So a big kick just past midfield. Here comes Emerald City. That's Burgett. Over to the sideline. And Schmidt for Emerald City races to the ball. The ball rolls out of bounds. So Catnaccio will take over with a throw in over on the far side and a big throw in at that. Emerald City trying to make something happen back in their own territory, but Catnaccio too quick. Here they come, Catnaccio down the sideline with a good crossover and a shot on goal. Save! This will bring on a corner kick for Catnaccio. So a nice corner right to the middle, a crowd of players. This can be dangerous, folks. And a bicycle kick shot blocked by the keeper. Like that was John Connor with the bicycle kick and a shot on goal. That was one of Catnaccio's first really good opportunities to score here today. It's a 0 0 game here at the 2005 San Diego Surf Cup and another big corner, a big collision just inside the six. There's a shot on goal and the keeper is right there to save the day. So Berg for Emerald City makes his way through two players looking for a touch pass back to Reed. It was right through Reed's legs. Here comes Catnaccio. Mark David looking for some help. Ball comes back towards David's way, but Emerald City there. Yeah, it looks like looks like Reed took him down. 
I like that was Zachary Baca who got taken down by Reed. Who Baca decides to take the kick himself. Sacafayo looking for Reed. Reed with a little flip pass to himself. Going to come back to Reed. So Patrick ben Brennan, I guess he's getting a little bit of revenge for his teammate as he went right after James Reed. So Brennan gets a yellow card and Reed stands up unscathed from the situation. And Alex Masaki will take the free kick for Emerald City. So a, uh, looks like an injury there momentarily on, I think that was Nicholas Hall. Something happened with his foot, so a free kick for Emerald City now, and a big one at that, looking for Reed. Reed and David collide. Ball ends up in Schmidt's hands. Sacafayo looking for help down the sideline, has his man back to Reed. Reed finds Fong. Fong unable to make the crossover to the middle. Catnaccio now with a nice touch pass over to Mark David. David with a crossover to the middle. Has his man, but the ball gets deflected and a nice outlet pass by Emerald City. So here comes Berg once again for Emerald City. Looks like that's uh, Shane Keene over there. Finds Baca. Baca has a man to the right. It's Mark David. David with a crossover right into the hands of the keeper. It's like Berg racing up the sideline. Berg looking for help as a ball gets deflected right off of Shane Keen's knee. So this will bring on a throw in. Looks like it'll be taken by James Reed. So he hands it off to Berg. Catnaccio. Here comes David down the sideline. Sure enough, Jonathan Cho from Emerald City right there intercepts the ball. A little pushing and shoving going on. This game's getting pretty physical here in the, in the second half. Looks like Berg over there coming back strong. Like that was Berg and Schneider going at it on the far side. Catanaccio now working their way inside the 18. A little touch pass over to David. David, a one-on-one -on -one situation, looking for a back pass. Nobody there. There he is. And the keeper comes way out and makes a grab. He was looking for Baca, but Baca was nowhere to be found. Came in at the last second and grabbed the ball. This Emerald City team playing very aggressive right now. So a substitution will be made for Emerald City. It's like it's Jesus Cervantes. Actually, Cervantes coming back. Throws his penny to the sideline.
Emerald City now moving the ball just past midfield. at Schmidt working on some fancy footwork over to Sacrifio. Sacrifio loses the ball. Here comes Cyphers down the sideline. Cyphers with a nice touch pass to Schneider. Schneider down the sideline on the far side looking for help. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Emerald City wins the ball as it gets tapped out of bounds. So Catanaccio will take over with another throw in. A few substitutions for Catanaccio. Looks like Luke Zabawa back in the game. And Zach Harris as well enters the game. So a big swing and miss by Cyphers. And there's a shot just over the crossbar from Catanaccio. Emerald City with a goal kick. Looking for Reed and Sacafayo. Looks like it's Chow. Over to Fong. Fong back to Reed. Reed down the sideline. Has, looks like that's uh, Nicholas Sue. And a crossover to the middle. There's a header just off the post. Just off the left side of the post. That was a beautiful crossover. Well done by Emerald City. Yeah, substitution for Catanaccio. Shane Keene exits the game. Looks like that's Matt Cyphers from Catanaccio. Getting a little frustrated. You can probably see some of the Emerald City players using their hands to shield the ball away from Cypher. Cypher's getting visibly frustrated. Trips a man from behind. So whistle on the play, and Sacrifio calls in. Uh... Looks like that's Masaki over there. So Masaki will take the free kick. Is the coach giving you some instructions to float the ball all the way to the back side of the six. There's a big, high, looping ball right over to the back side of the six. Well done by Masaki. Emerald City takes over with a throw-in on the 0-0 game in the 2005 Surf Cup here in beautiful Del Mar, California. And a nice cross by Emerald City. Has a few men there. This could be trouble. Catanaccio, beautifully done, exiting that ball from inside the six. Emerald City, once again, just relentless with this pressure. Looking for a cross and unsuccessful. So Catanaccio tries to outlet the ball at the sideline. There comes Abawa, looking for help. He has a few men down the sideline. Looks like that's Schmidt. Well, it's Harris who ends up with the ball. Now Harris putting pressure on. A big shot across the middle, and the keeper comes over and makes a save. Reed looking for Schmidt. Schmidt back to Reed. Now Reed moving his way through two or three players. Reed finds Schmidt. Schmidt with a shot just outside the 18 as it rolls wide. 
Catnaccio's keeper, Matt Hudson, just watching that ball go. If that had been about six feet over, either Hudson would have made one heck of a save or that would have been a goal. So Hudson with the kick finds his man. Little misdirected head ball. So Baca shielding the ball, looking for help. And Sue down the sideline. Finds his man in the middle. It's Burgett. And Burgett double teamed and loses the ball. Now Reed doing an excellent job shielding the ball, maintaining possession. Is Emerald City. Sacafayo now slowing things down just a bit. Schmidt across the middle. He likes it right there. There comes Sue. Back to Reed. Reed just outside the 18. Beautiful footwork on, by on, Reed. On, Finds Sacafayo. Sacafayo across the middle. Thought Schmidt was going to get that, but not at Sue. Back to Schmidt. Easy, em easy, Emerald easy. City just all over Catnaccio right now. Time. Get it down in the ground early. Slowing things down is Rummage. So Masaki with a big outlet, a little push from behind over there. They get away with it is Catnaccio. Here comes Cervantes down the sideline. Nice cross over the middle. He has two men there. Sue with a shot on goal and a diving save by the keeper. Matt Hudson doing a spectacular job in goal for Catnaccio. A little diving head ball from Cyphers. Cyphers regains his composure. Finds a nice touch pass to the side to Zach Harris. Zach Harris with a shot on goal. Not too difficult for the keeper of Emerald City. and forth action right around midfield. Catnaccio regains their composure and tries to make something happen. Looks like Jonathan Cho knocks that ball out of play. So Catnaccio taking over with a throw in here in the near side of the field. It'll be Zachary Baca handling the ball. He finds Brennan down the sideline. And Brennan taps the ball out of bounds. Rather, Emerald City taps the ball out of bounds, so Brennan will take over with a throw in. Finds his man looking for the middle. It's Harris. Harris over to Miller. And the ball gets intercepted. There's Cyphers. A nice little head ball back and forth. The ball goes and ends up in Emerald City's hands. So here comes Burgett down the sideline. And the towering Sacafayo just <laughs> rams right through the Catnaccio player. So a free kick for Catnaccio. Here they come down the sideline. That's Baca. Rather, Zabawa with the crossover. Once again, Catnaccio gets the ball stolen by Sue. And the ball rolls out of bounds. Excellent play by Sue, just unable to get the ball quick enough. It was a race to the sideline. So the ball rolls out of bounds. Catnaccio will take over with a throw in. So Emerald City now making a push. There's Sue over to Schmidt. Schmidt has Berg up the sideline. He finds him. Berg has a man on his left. It looks like it's Reed for a give and go. Two on one situation. The ball gets tapped out of bounds by, look like Brennan. Rather an Ungare.
So Berg with the throw in has Reed available, chooses Burgett. So an outlet actually rolls out of bounds. Looks like that was Austin Anderson. So Jonathan Cho with the throw in. Once again, Emerald City putting all kinds of pressure on this Catanaccio team. A big throw in well inside the 18, tries to find Burgett. So the ball rolls out of bounds, and Catanaccio will take over with a goal kick. Schmidt with a chess ball right back to the 18. Once again, this Emerald City team just relentless with the pressure, keeping the ball in Catanaccio's territory for a majority of this game. But again, unable to capitalize on any of their opportunities so far. They've had a couple of chances. Nice give and go from Berg to Sakafayo oh, back to Berg. Berg has Reed up the sideline. Ball knocked out of bounds by Zach Harris. The referee didn't see that the same way I think everybody else did, so Catanaccio will take over. So Austin Anderson with the throw in down the sideline. And Zach Harris, as the ball gets booted and a big clear out. It's about a two on five situation. Catanaccio chooses the wiser to knock the ball out of bounds, let their teammates come down and regroup, get back on defense. Hey, right in here. So a throw in just inside the 18. Hey, get the ball! Sacafayo to the ball. Has a couple of opportunities, a couple of options. And he finds rummage on the sideline. Rummage unable to connect with the teammates, so Catanaccio takes over possession down the far side of the field. Racing to the ball is Alex Masaki. Masaki shielding the ball as it rolls out of bounds, takes a bump from the Catanaccio player, and Emerald City takes over with a goal kick. This is still a 0 0 game here at the 2005 Surf Cup. Looks like there will be a substitution, and Zach Harris will exit the game. And Luke Zabawa will enter the game. So there's a shot on goal just over the top crossbar. Both teams have had tremendous opportunities today with a plethora of shots on goals, but just unable to capitalize. Just unable to put the ball between the wickets up there. As a 0-0 game reflects an excellent defensive game on both sides. So Reed regains possession. So the ball gets tapped out of play by Catanaccio. Austin Anderson on the defensive side there. So Reed looking for help to pass the ball off to. And a big throw in down the sideline. Anderson back. There's Reed with the possession. Tries to give and go. Very physical game over there. Reed getting tripped up once again. This Catanaccio team is all over Reed at this point. It's Berg looking for Cho. Cho. With the throw in. Delay, Eric. Hold there, Eric. Eric, hold there. Here comes Emerald City with a big collision just inside the 18. Emerald City takes over. And a head ball that goes behind him. And the keeper, Matt Hudson from Catanaccio, takes over. Comes way out to the edge of the 18. Eric, get back. 
and a monster outlet right into the head of Sacafayo. So a free kick for Emerald City. It's Masaki with the kick. And a nice one just inside the 18, back to the foot of Reed. Reed with a nice little footwork, looking for a shot outside the 18. Interrupted. Here comes another shot. And there's a shot score! Nicholas Sue with the goal. Actually, that's William Burgett with the goal. Burgett right in the mix of things off a deflection. And Emerald City finally breaks this game open 1 0 here in the second half of the 2005 Surf Cup. Come on, pressure. 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 I guess at this point it was a law of averages where after enough pressure, enough shots on goal, Emerald City was bound to get a goal sooner or later. But quite honestly, you can say the same thing for this Catanaccio team. They've had quite a few opportunities so far in the first half and the second half. It's just a matter of capitalizing on the opportunities that are given to them throughout this game. So here's Luke Zabawa. Three Emerald City players blocking that ball. Shane Keene looking for Hamilton down the sideline as the ball rolls out of bounds. So Keene with a throw in, finds Schneider. Schneider racing to the ball. A lot of pushing and shoving going on over there. Referees doing a nice job just letting these guys play on, only calling the very serious physical play. So a corner kick for Catanaccio. Well done right in the middle. This could be trouble for Emerald City as they clear it out. And a big kick just over the crossbar. Looks like Phil Hamilton knew it right when he kicked it that it wasn't getting close to the crossbar. Hamilton uh, visibly disappointed with himself as he had a wide open shot right at the top of the 18. So a goal kick for Emerald City. Ball gets by most of the midfielders of Catanaccio. Catanaccio's defenders doing an excellent job all afternoon as they do right there. Possession back to Emerald City. Looks like Berg down the sideline. Berg with some good footwork, shielding the ball. Reed with a nice second effort getting double teamed by Catanaccio. Reed makes his way back, slows the pace down just a bit. So looking for a give and go, he has his man right there, it's Cho. Cho looking for help for a cross, there it is. Cervantes racing to the ball, shields it well, looking for another cross. And the uh, Catanaccio defender doing a nice job, sticking his foot out at the last moment, bringing on a corner kick for Emerald City. Emerald City already leading this game 1-0 in the second half of this 2005 San Diego Surf Cup. So there's the corner, right off the foot of Cervantes. And the ball rolls out of bounds. So a goal hey, kick now for, for Catanaccio. Jacob, win that. Jacob, Jacob! Work back, work back. Good. Win that, Willie. This Catanaccio team doing an excellent job on defense, just unable to bring the ball much past midfield. Hey, 
as the ball rolls out of bounds. And Emerald City now takes, looking for a crossover to the middle. He has a few men there. Sue and Schmidt are in the middle as the ball rolls out of bounds. Hey, let Jacob be not aware with you. So big throw in inside the 18. Nobody there but Catanaccio players. So a big outlet from Catanaccio and trying to put some last minute efforts in here. Is less than five minutes remaining in this game. Like that's Joshua Schneider over there, slowing the pace down just a little. And Eric Berg intercepts that pass. Has a couple of opportunities, couple of choices. And folks, that's the game. A last minute goal now from Emerald City. Broke this game open in the second half, 1-0. And folks, that is your final score of this 2005 Surf Cup. Thank you all for watching. This has been a George Landsman production. I'm Scott Hall.